Welcome to Flutter Teacher. One of the most common questions asked by my viewers and subscribers. How do I mirror my phone in laptop or PC? While developing Flutter application, it's very common to use VS Code and your phone both in a single screen side by side. You can observe here, on the left hand side, I have my VS Code and on the right side, it's my ASUS mobile phone. In this video, I will talk about the tool which is 100% free and that allows you to mirror or cast your phone and as well as control your phone from PC or laptop. So without wasting time, let's get started. For mirroring your phone in a PC or laptop, you just have to follow three simple steps. The step number one is download the tool called Scrappy. Scrappy basically stands for screen copy and it is 100% free and open source tool that comes from the Genie Motion. And this tool is available for Windows, Linux and Mac as well. For downloading the tool called Scrappy, just open your web browser and search for the word called SCRCPY that is Scrappy. You will find the first link available for this github.com. Just click on the first link of this github.com and it will navigate you to the place where you can download the Scrappy for free. So you just have to scroll down a little bit. And the latest version of Scrappy available at the time of recording this video is Scrappy 1.24. And here you can find some information and some features regarding the Scrappy. And as I told you, the Scrappy is available for Linux, Windows and Mac as well. So in this video, I'm interested in installing Scrappy on Windows. That's why I will click on the option called Windows Download. So when you click on this one, it will start downloading a zip file in your computer. After downloading this zip file of Scrappy, you have to unzip this zip file in a specific folder. In my case, I will unzip it inside the my data. So let's click on extract and it will simply unzip the scrappy folder for you. Second step is enable USB debugging from the developer option. And to do this, let me explain this one from a phone. USB debugging has to be enabled from settings of your phone. That's why we have to tap this settings option. Inside the setting option, we have to scroll down a little bit and you will find option called system. Tap on the system option, you will find the first option called about phone. So I'm going to tap on this about phone. After tapping on this, you have to scroll down at the end and you will find option called build number. You have to tap seven times on this build number. So as I'm already a developer, it is showing the message, no need, you are already a developer. But if you're doing this first time in your phone, it will show the message, you are a developer now. And just you have to press this back button and you will have option called advanced. Click on this add once and now you will find new option appeared in your phone and that is called the developer option. Once you got this developer option, you have to tap this option and you have to scroll down for the option called USB debugging. Make sure that you have turn on this developer option and you have to turn on this USB debugging. Now the step that I explained here is for the phone called ASUS and which basically comes with the stock Android. Stock Android is a kind of a raw Android that comes from the Google and it is the Android which is not at all modified. Uh, but if you have a different phone, let's say Samsung, Oppo, Vivo, MI or whatever it is you are using. So there may not be same steps as I have explained for enabling this developer option. So you have to make sure that you have to find the about phone first. After getting this about phone, you have to find the option wherever it is available called the uh, build number and you have to tap seven times on that build number. By default, when you purchase the phone, this developer option is by default disabled. So you have to enable uh, it in any or any case if you want to mirror your phone in your PC or laptop. So just put a comment if you are getting some problems or if you are not finding that options. Last step is connect your mobile phone and laptop via USB cable that we regularly use to charge our phone and run the scrappy.exe file from the scrappy folder that we have downloaded in the first step. Now after connecting a phone to laptop, we are good to go to mirror a phone screen in a laptop. In order to do this, we have to just double click a file called scrappy.exe. So let's double click on this scrappy.exe file and here is the magic. You can see my phone screen is now mirrored in the laptop and it is not just mirrored. I can completely control and use my phone using the laptop or PC. So I can tap the option called say 
play store here and you can observe here i am not touching a phone by hand instead i'm using or controlling uh, this phone uh, simply by using a laptop i can just click here and i can do whatever activities that i want let's say if i tap here netflix icon i can do it here and now uh, let me touch or let me use my phone by the hand so when i tap on this back button it's getting back and i can scroll down a little bit or i can scroll up and i can do the activities on my phone and whatever activities that i'm doing uh, in my phone so it is getting reflected uh, in my laptop let's say uh, if i tap on this zoom out option so i tap here i can scroll down i can do the activities here even i can control this one from the laptop let's click here and let me close this now let me talk about very important point being a developer we always need to mirror our phone screen and laptop so each and every time we have to mirror uh, our phone we have to open this folder called scrappy and we have to double click this scrappy.exe file so doing all this activity each and every time may be annoying for some of you so there is a shortcut trick so what you can do you can simply right click on this scrappy.exe file and you can make a shortcut and you can send it to your desktop so that you don't need to visit this folder by just visiting a desktop we can double click that file and we are good to go or the another option is you can make this file as a shortcut in your taskbar so this option called ping to task let me do it here let's see if i tap on ping to task you can see here this scrappy file is now available inside my taskbar so if i click here it will directly open a scrappy and it will now mirror my phone here so let me close it from here and there is uh, one more trick or one more option uh, without just visiting this folder and that is by setting a path so being a developer it's very common to work or to play with the path so let me copy this specific path of this scrappy folder so just click on this and click on the copy then just tap the windows button and search for the option called path here you will find option called edit the system environment variable click here and you will find the environment variables inside this you have to find the option called path so let me scroll down a little bit you will find option called path click on this edit button click on the button called new and here you have to paste the path of scrappy folder that we had copied so click on this paste your path is copied now so your path is pasted now click on this ok button then again ok and click the ok now i can simply close this now what i can do i can simply just type uh, the command or let me open a command prompt at any place and we can type the command called scrappy hit the enter button and it will launch the scrappy and your phone on your laptop if you observe this video carefully i have connected my phone with the laptop by using a usb cable so if you keep your phone connected using the usb cable unnecessarily it will keep your phone charging so if you want to use a scrappy without using this usb cable and without charging your phone unnecessarily so it is of course possible for this we have to use a scrappy over wi-fi and then in next video i will talk about how to use a scrappy over wi-fi without using the usb cable and if you really found this video helpful then don't forget to hit like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos